assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in the description so today's lecture is about solid phase extraction and it is very commonly abbreviated as spe in analytical chemistry so solid phase extraction or spe is a simple preparation technique using a solid adsorbent containing most commonly in a cartridge device as shown in figure here this is the cartridge in which the solid adsorbent is stored or it may be some disc which is used to absorb selected species from a solution so spe is used to isolate a species in a solution or it is also used to clean up a sample before analysis so as the sample is slowly passed through the spe cartridge or disc the analyte and some of the sample matrix compounds may be retained on the spe material so depending upon the properties of the analyte and the spe sorbent a y solvent can be chosen to selectively remove or elute the components from the spe sorbent while retaining the others the ultimate goal is to remove the interferences present in the matrix from the analyte producing a solution containing primarily analyte the following two strategies can be utilized in order to achieve this goal so on this basis the spe uh, is based on two types of strategies number one is bind and elute strategy whereas the second is removal or trapping strategy so both bind and elute strategy and removal or trapping strategy will be discussed here in this lecture so this diagram uh, tell us about the bind and elute strategy for the solid phase extraction so the analytes are retained and matrix components do not retain in this technique and the analyte subsequently is washed and eluted with a strong solvent so if we see here that the brown dots are actually our interfering species whereas the blue and black dots are our analytes so what we will do here we will load the sample in the cartridge and by applying the pressure by th uh, using some syringe so what will happen that uh, the interfering species are not retained and they are uh, washed out uh, from the sample whereas the analyte particles are retained now in the third step what we will do that we will use some an other sort strong solvent which will uh, dissolve all the analyte species from this cartridge dissolve in itself and then it is also moved out from the system so in this way we have separated our mixture and the interfering species are separated from the analyte particles this is the other diagram which is explaining the removal or uh, trapping strategy in this the analytes are not retained and are eluted out while the matrix components are retained so again the brown dots are interfering species blue and black dots are our analytes so we have loaded the sample into the cartridge and now we are adding some solvent that solvent will dissolve the analyte and will be eluted out containing the analyte species whereas the interfering species they remain trapped or they remain captured inside the uh, solid adsorbent definitely solid phase extraction is a separation technique which is used for separation of our complex mixtures so the general uses of spe are summarized as below so it is mainly used to simplify complex sample matrices purify compounds of interest reduce ion suppression in mass spectrometric applications fractionate complex mixtures by classification and concentrate analyte present at low levels like uh, if some analyte concentration is below the detection limit of the instrument so we concentrate that analyte so that uh, it lies within the detection limit of a particular instrument the question is how does the solid phase extraction is compared with the liquid liquid extraction so if we say here this is the assembly of liquid liquid extraction of course we are using here a separating funnel so the liquid liquid extraction separates an analyte through partitioning between two immiscible solvents lle suffers from several disadvantages that can be overcome by using solid phase extraction or spe 
such as first of all in liquid liquid extraction we need expensive glass sphere for example the separating funnels after then large and costly amount of organic solvents are needed which are not only uh, uh, are costly but also are not so much environment friendly so and the third uh, the disadvantage is that there are very less quantities that can be recoverable from the solvents uh, and also by the low partitioning constant or incomplete phase separations uh, the complete separations are not achieved in liquid liquid extraction so that is why we have shifted in modern times towards the solid wave extraction and in this uh, method we have almost overcome all these uh, disadvantages that were occurring in the liquid liquid extraction so the solid phase extraction is conducted um, uh, uh, by following these steps first step is called as the conditioning step second is the sample loading step third is the washing step and fourth is the elution step so in the conditioning step Mm, the SPE cartridge is actually rinsed with a solvent similar to the matrix of the sample you want to load. For example, if the sample is an aqueous sample, so we would choose an aqueous solvent such as water for conditioning. So once the cartridge has been conditioned, the sample is then loaded into this cartridge. One thing important is that sample is also treated before its loading. For example, either it is diluted or its pH is adjusted. Uh, then the sample is loaded into the cartridge and its amount loaded depends upon the capacity of this cartridge. Uh, the cartridges then can be loaded on a vacuum manifold to apply a vacuum or these can also be centrifuged to speed up the separation process. This separation can also be done using gravity but it will take some time so we actually uh, push things forward uh, in order to uh, quickly do the process so once the, once the sample has been collected on the adsorbent then the cartridge can be rinsed with 100% water to, move, to remove unretained compounds more rinse can also be done with increasing percentages of some organic solvent along with such as isopropanol to remove the compounds in terms of decreasing polarity so at the end the samples are collected here and uh, the separated samples are then sent to some uh, detection device in order to determine their quality and quantity so if we see here closely that this is the cartridge which has been conditioned with the solvent as you see here that the color of this cartridge has now been in turned into a green because of the filling with the solvent so this is the sample and it consists of three types of particles like the yellow particles the orange particles and the pink particles actually the orange particles are our analyte so as we are adding these things so depending upon the interaction with the uh, stationary or uh, solid phase which is filled in this cartridge uh, if we see here that the yellow dots are coming first of all through the cartridge because it has no interaction so these are interfering species these are removed second if we see here we have started the washing step and we are adding the solvent so that um, the other things are removed whereas our analyte remain um, trapped inside the cartridge so the second interfering species has been removed and finally after doing the elution step uh, the analyte which are our yellow dots are detected and elute out at the end for further uh, analysis so if we talk about different types of solid phase extraction so spe fall into several categories including adsorption ion exchange and mixed mode now the adsorption type is further divided into normal phase reverse phase solvent phase extraction solid phase extraction similarly ion exchange contain cation ion exchange spe in ion ion exchange spe and then there is a mixed mode in the mixed mode we combine the properties of adsorption hydrogen bonding or ion exchange in one cartridge so 
uh, where we will use will be using the normal and where we will be using reverse that depend upon various factors so in normal adsorption solid phase extraction analytes with low to high polarity and neutrals will be uh, uh, analyzed similarly the separation is based on the polarity non polar phase is the sample matrix whereas the least polar compounds will be eluted out first in reverse phase analyte with low or moderate polarity are used separation is based on the hydrophobicity phenomena aqueous sample solution is the matrix whereas the most polar compound will be eluted out first in cation ion exchange solid phase extraction the analytes are charged or ionizable separation is based on the charge aqueous sample matrix with low ionic strength is used whereas weakly ionized compounds are diluted first in anion exchange chromatography negative ion charges or ionizable species are involved separation based on the charge aqueous sample contains so a matrix with low ionic strength whereas weakly ionized compounds uh, are eluted out first in this technique so this is the overall summary of various types of solid phase extraction